What's up, guys? Baker here. Today I have um, kill feed text, and that's what I'm gonna call it. And it's basically uh, when I did tripping on vodka. So text right here one, and goes two, and then three. Kind of cool for kill feeds and stuff, and uh, just kind of go over the basics of that. So you're beforehand, you're gonna need to know how many kills they get and everything. And that, just in case you want to put them, like, all on the left side, or, like, three on one side, three on the other. So that just kind of depends on, you know, how you're going to set it up for the next part. Anyway, so I know there's going to be five kills, so uh, that's pretty cool. So in your clip, um, I'm just going to leave it for now, and we're going to make a new comp. Now, a size that works pretty decent for this is uh, uncheck the aspect ratio, and we're going to go width. Uh, about 500 and the height we can do about 75 okay so we get this long kind of strip and we'll just go into our text and if we want this on the left our text needs to be on the right I know it sounds weird but just trust me you'll see why so we'll pick a font and bring the size down to about the size of your um, height about 75 and we'll type 1 and um, let me put this down. And to make it a little bit cooler, just, you know, do like, I don't know, hashtag one dot slash kind of random thingies. So we'll move this all the way to the right. And if you want, we can actually double click and click a, uh, align to right so that we can move this over here. And if we end up wanting to change the text or something, it'll just go to the side like that. And I actually want to make this just a tiny bit smaller, so maybe 70. Let's try that. Let's make that make sure that's uh, pretty much centered and aligned to the right. And that looks pretty cool. So once we finished one of them, we're going to go into our project window, find, well, let's rename this to, um, you know, number one, I guess. Go find your number one comp, duplicate it in the in the uh, project panel and then so we'll double click here and we get the exact same copy and we're gonna rename this to number two that way number one and number two don't um, get messed up so in number two comp we're gonna double click on the text and just type in two and make two slashes and I can probably fix the spacing right here so maybe scoot that in Depends on your font, so that's cool. And oh, another thing. Let's uh, just pick a few letters and just kind of randomize some colors. So maybe like you know, nice blue for that O over here. Maybe the W. Same kind of bluish, something like that. And we'll just go to number two, duplicate it up in the project window, double click, rename it to number three, and double click on the text and just rename this three with three slashes Oops. and uh, I'll fix the spacing here well there we go and uh, maybe have those two be in blue interesting and you know just keep on going duplicate it inside the project window rename it kind of get the idea right number four I should probably just show you how to use it now, don't you think? I think so too. I mean, you guys know how to do this now, right? Sure hope so. I'll just stop here. Okay, so we got some uh, one, two, three, fours. So in our comp again, we're gonna bring these out. One, two, three, four. Put them on top. Oh, forgot. Okay, sorry. We're gonna go into these comps and stuff and make a new solid, not a light. Make a new solid. And we'll make it a black solid, make it comp size, so it's 500 by 75 again. Put it on bottom. And change the opacity to, let's say, 75. And then copy it and paste it on the bottom of all the other thingies. Cool. Now we get uh, these things. So I'm just going to you know, place number one, push P, and slide it over. And I'm just going to bring it up here. So first, what we're going to do is actually just place them where we want them. So uh, one could be there. Number two. And you could have them all the same 
length out, or you can kind of cascade them. So like number two could be you know a little bit in like that. Number three could come in over here and uh, scoot it up, trying to make them pretty much the same size and make them uh, what do you call them? Almost like sequential or something. Just make them look pretty even. Something like that looks cool. And we could, if you want, change the transfer mode, but it's so like overlay, but you know, keeping it at normal and lowering the opacity looks pretty cool. So you can kind of see through the black. Yeah, I like it. Anyways, once we have them lined up like this, we'll go to the first kill. So maybe I can just push LL real quick. First kill happens right around here. And we're just going to use a simple uh, linear wipe. So linear wipe on number one. And let's see if it's, we want to go the other way. So negative 90 for the angle. And we're going to keyframe it from 100 to 0. See how it wipes to the right like that? All right. So 100, keyframe, move forward um, about 5, maybe 10 frames, and keyframe this out. Okay. And if you want, you can actually push U, click on linear wipe, and, um, and the transition completion. And copy, just control C, go to the second kill, right around there, I think, yeah, right around here. And number two, paste. So there you go. The keyframes will be there. Zoom out. And uh, let's just see number three here, I think, and just paste. Oh, I guess it didn't keep the angle. All right, fix the angle. It's negative 90. You, you guys should figure out. You should know what to do by now, right? Just a little linear wipe thingy and stuff. So let's just uh, quick RAM preview and see how we're doing. I didn't do all of it, but you know it shouldn't be too hard by now. You guys should, uh, you know. Boom! Look at that. One, two, three. So that's pretty cool. Um, Pretty much all I wanted to go over. If you wanted something on the uh, other side, you know, you just have to move this, you know, to the other side and move it over and stuff. Yeah. Anyways, before I start rambling on forever, uh, go ahead and like the video, comments, um, subscribe. I, I don't know what, what favorite. Anyways, okay. I am done with that. If you make an edit with these little killfy texts, go ahead and leave a video response and stuff. So, um, yeah. All right, peace. Bye.